just a quick uh, review on how to fill out this part of the lesson on mod modeling electrons with the Bohr model. That was our first lesson from Monday, and there were several people absent. Um, so we just need to go over it again. Here are the steps. Fill in the box using the atomic number and the average atomic number, and then figure out the protons, neutrons, and electrons. So that's all um, up here that we got to fill it in. Uh, then it says the period number is equal to energy levels, so whatever period number we put in here is equal to the number of energy levels or circles that are drawn, and that the group number corresponds to valence electrons, and so valence electrons are electrons on the outside, um, and those are the ones that we'll end up putting on the outside called valence electrons, and they correspond to the group number. You can plead it um, as shown. There are three models that are already completed. The hydrogen, sorry, the helium one, the boron is completed, and the sulfur is completed to try and help you um, figure stuff out and how things work. So in class, we did beryllium. So if you go to the periodic table, this would be four. This will be 9.01. The four corresponds to protons and the four corresponds to electrons. In order to get neutrons, we round 9.01 to nine and then subtract the four to give me five and that gives me five electrons. The period is whatever row we're in. So it's number two, so the period will be two and the energy levels is equal to two as well, so that means I have two of these. So can I undo those? Great. Uh, the group number is up here. Whatever these columns are is also the group number. And the group number corresponds to valence electrons for column one and column two. One and two. But for column three, 13, excuse me, is three valence electrons. For group 14, there are four valence electrons, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right, so it turns out that we need four electrons. That would be four dots, one, two, three, four. And we're gonna put those four dots on this, two, these two circles. The inner circle is the same as helium. Helium has two dots. And so we're going to put on two dots. Now the location of or how near or how far the dots are from each other is not uh, important. It's just that they need to be on this circle. That gets rid of two of these. I need two more. And so I put in two more. Okay, this leads us to what do we mean by valence electrons? So the two outer electrons are called valence electrons. Over here we had three valence electrons, so there were three electrons on the outside. And when we get to carbon, it says we'll have four valence electrons. Remember we did 14 minus 10 equals four, four valence electrons. And that means on the outside here, we're gonna have four valence electrons. The columns have more than one element in them but the number of valence electrons is still four, even though it's in the next row down, there's still four because we're still in the group four. So we fill out the, the, the material off the periodic table, the information off the periodic table. We determine protons and neutrons. If you're doing this, uh, just so you know, this one will become four. Um, if you do it right. And then we add the electrons to the inside circles first, and we build it up um, as we go along. Okay, and last thing, gotta get rid of everything to move this along. Last thing is this, the inner circles are always the same as neon. So as I went along, we already talked, we mentioned that this is four, and if I keep that pattern going with this having four valence electrons, 
this having two valence electrons. The pattern is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I'm trying to fill this up just like neon, there would be the two dots that are necessary for helium and then eight valence electrons to make neon. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that pattern will continue all the way across um, so that always the inside will look like the pink and the outside would be whatever you do out here. And what this would be is valence electrons, remember. So if I have two valence electrons like I have here, then I'd have two dots on the outside. Okay, so that's the patterns and the requirements. If you have the old version of this document, one of these uh, electrons is missing. So just an FYI. When you're done, you go to the electronic document that's labeled um, 3-2B, I think, and you answer these questions uh, with regard to the model that you just did. All right, hoping that helps. Thank you.